So if I type here Apple inside the search box, then you can see Apple is getting highlighted. And if I just write here double R, so matching text string is getting highlighted over here. So this intermediate functionality we are going to create today. Welcome to the third video of real world JavaScript series. So here we have created one input box with the ID search input and class form control. Then here we have the list of items and each item have class as list group item and the UL tag have the ID as item list and also the class is list group. So first we will use document.get element by ID and here we will pass search input. Here we are using the add event listener based on the input event and then we will create here a function that will be fired upon this event. So whatever the input we will have we will convert it to lowercase and now here we will use the document.query selector all where we will pass our listed item class and then on those items we will apply the for each method and it takes one function as a parameter and where we are passing item inside that function. So in each iteration we will first convert our listed item to the lowercase and here this method searches for the position of search term within the text content. If the term is found it returns the index of first occurrence otherwise it returns minus one. So if the index is not minus one and such term is not empty in that case we will implement this logic item dot text content dot substring here we will pass the index and we will join the index with the search term length and then what we are doing to the inner html of the item we will use the replace method so it is just replacing the matching text with the same text with the highlight class and this is our highlight class now what if, if the search term is not found or empty so in that case here we will handle it inside the else block before jumping onto the ui please share this video this kind of videos really takes a lot of effort and the link to the code you will find inside the github repository 